Sneaker fan, what's going on? It's your boy Jake back with a highly anticipated Real vs. Fake review. You already know, February 17th, the Bread for Reimagines will be released, officially released. And let me tell you right now, salutes to CE Chicago Emporium for hooking me up with a pair early. And shout outs to these boys here that shipped me an updated pair directly from China. So without further ado, let's get on with it, man. Of course, you guys are gonna see it here. The unboxing is in front of everyone. So everyone's gonna see everything first, right along with me. You know what I mean? I'm not privy to anything. So it is what it is. Ah, I think this box is upside down. Just my luck. Okay, so. This is the retail pair. Ah, I'm gonna have to stand up now. All right, so let's get this out here. And I already knew from them boys got that box right. Wow, I knew it. That box is perfect. So the first thing I wanna talk about of course, this is legit checking purposes. So what you got to know is I heard there's like multiple labels, like there's certain labels are different on um, on uh, on pairs on, you know what I mean? Units, whatever you want to call it. But you can see here, even though the boxes are the same size and everything, different shade and different color and stuff like that. But this label here, the retail pair. Take a good look at it. And you can already tell from the feel and the look. Like the feel on this one has that waxy feel. This one does not. You know what I mean? Feels a little like, almost like it's a, uh, like it got wet or something like that. You know what I mean? Strange. And that is the fake. All right. So let's, time to do the unboxing. Salute, salutes. Salutes, salutes. All right, let's pull these out. Uh, if you guys seen my standalone video, that was the first version. This is the updated pair. Um, yeah, that's the hang tag, I guess that came off. So, here we go. Very curious to see. <clears throat> All right, so what else is in here? Papers all folded up. All right. <clears throat> all right. Smell. Smell isn't bad at all. All right. Let's go with the retail. This, that. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. You can just feel the difference. That's crazy. That is crazy. I, I couldn't wait. I couldn't take my chances uh, with this shoe with anyone else, even with Nike and the sneakers app and how the resellers and stuff are reacting with this thing. It's absolutely insane. So uh, the price I got this for and with the price of what um, consignment stores are selling them now, I got a steal. I got a steal of a steal. All right, so we're gonna do a stare down. Stare it down. Let me make a little camera adjustment here. And um, just with the stare down, um, they tried to get that, that SB toe right. They did, but it's, a little, it's still sleeker on the retail pair. So what's the common thing that we see uh, on the Jordan 4s regardless? It is the toe, the midsole, the stars, the color of the stars. They both have peaks. They have the peaks. Take a look at the opening. This is the replicated version. This is the retail version here. You can feel that, you can feel that stretch. You see the stretch on there? You don't get it much. It's not bad, but it's not as good as this. That give, this is a little harder. 
laces are different. Overall, the shoe looks bigger, especially on this end here. It just looks all higher on this end. Let me just go back a little bit. My apologies. So you see the scaling on them. You see them both here. Different uh, material feel. Let's take a look at the rear of the shoe. Matter of fact, we take a look at all of them. You know, I'm going to look at the air units already, and I think this one has two columns uh, while the retail pair has three. And I won't lie, my first version had three columns. This one only has two, so most likely another factory made them. So we're just looking at the back, and the back looks fine. Like I say, it's just scaled. This shoe is larger. Everybody wants to see this. Not sure why. So now, what do we see here? One, two, three, one, two, three columns on the size 12. This is the retail pair. What do we see here? One, two, we got two columns in the air unit. That's first things first, larger sizes. Keep in mind, larger sizes, maybe 11 and a half, 12, 11 and a half and up or 12 and up are gonna have three columns, guarantee. Guaranteed. Someone comment, commented that uh, they have a size 11 and have two columns. If you got it from a retail store, you know, I'm not going to have every shoe. So, toes different. Slight difference in the material. Scaling is off. Uh, laces are different. Um, we can look at the tongue. If it's high tongue. Let me spin this around here. I want to mix you guys up. A lot of guys keep crying. I'm confused. I don't know which is which. Fake, real, replicated, whatever you want to call it. Okay, it's a richer black on the tongue. Um, tumbled leather. It's just a different feel on that leather. Eh, nah, I can't even say that. Yeah, it does. This one has more of a waxy feel to it. On, on toe, on foot, will anybody notice? No, definitely feels heavier as well. That's probably why it's a ton of paper in here. So that is the insole of the fake Nike Air branding. Look at the Strobel board stitching. And I think that's a I think that's a flaw with that. I'm I'm gonna make sure. Uh that Strobel stitching is a little suspect. Okay, let's see how this paper is rolled up on the retail pair. This is how the fakes are. Okay. Retail. Absolutely nothing on the retail. You see that? Nothing at all. You can barely see anything. And this is how the fakes are. Fakes at up the top, up top, fake, retail. There's nothing. All you see is 12 and maybe 12 L here. And this is what's usually on the uh, fake 11s. Two different shades of red. Nike Air branding. There you have it. Now we're going to take a look at the Strobel board here and see the difference in stitching here. And what you can see there, there's a difference in the stitching and here where you can see the material uh, that's just the op yeah you can see it's like bulging up here like I can I can pull up that fabric on the strobel board on the fake so we're gonna put this all back together here and so we're gonna get get this back right nine minutes in sniff test i uh, just smell a little bit of glue but it's not bad you take a look at the 
the pitting on the uh, air unit. And then we'll take a look at the side panel here and the winglets. Got one, two, three, one, two, three. Take a look at the inside of the winglet. This is the fake shoe. And it does have the, the arch in the back for your foot. So it's all in all, it's not bad. And if you're worried about like on foot and stuff, this is not for on foot, it, it, you know, cause no one's gonna tell and no one's gonna look at your feet that hard. It's, it's not that serious. Now for people, people like to look at people's feet online and look at celebrities and this and that. Oh, this guy, he got fakes on because you know, he just gets fakes. Like not everyone has fakes. This is not, this shoe that I just got from Chicago Emporium is not fake. You just can't assume that, that every shoe that somebody has is fake. It's, it's at, that's like, that's insanity. That's borderline insanity. Now your boy is, because I'm a conspiracy theorist. But, you know what I mean? When it comes to stuff like that, it's like crazy. It's like everything. Everything from StockX is fake. Everything from Gold is fake. Everything from any reseller is fake. I don't care. It's just fake. Ah! Like, come on, man. Stop it. Stop it. All right. So, I'm just going to put this hang. Uh, you know what? The heck with this hang tag. I'm going to look at one more thing, which is usually the trim on this outsole. And this is the fake. I'm taking a real good look at it. And a little shoddiness here. So usually this outsole trim would usually be a telltale sign and some of the craftsmanship around the winglets, which you can't see, right? Around here, the cut of the leather, the cut here, a little sloppy. You see it's all clean and neat on the retail pair. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. So let's take a look at the hang tags right quick. Get the Nike Air branding. See more metallic paint. It's darker, you can see it here, right? You can see it here, right? Flip it around. Yes, yeah, two different shades. All right, so uh, 12 minutes in, all right. Enough of the BS. Let's get on to the meat and potatoes of this, which is weighing and black lighting. And then this video is over. So, curious to see what's up with these labels. Hopefully, I could get a pair uh, retail. You get it retail uh, from sneakers on one of these shock drops that will usually be uh, a month. Well, that's it. That's a month now. It's, it's the 19th. So usually it's two weeks before the release that has some type of shock drop. So just stay tuned. As I say, stay tuned. Turn it off. Let's zero this sucker back in. So let's get on with it. Zero it in. I think I'm going to take the paper out because one's real thicker than the other. So I take the paper out with the hang tag. Boom. What we got here. One pound, 6.7 ounces. Got this left shoe here. Got the hang tag in it. I'm gonna pull the paper out. Boom, all right, so. One pound 6.7 was for the real one. One pound 9.1 ounces. That's with the hang tag. Let's take a look at this one here. One pound 9.3 ounces. Sorry about my squeaky chair. And then, and then before I do the black light test, I'm going to one pound, 6.5 ounces. Before I do the black light test, I'm going to read off the production dates. If I could get inside of here, let me move the stupid chair. All right. Which is on the side here. We have LN3, which is China. And we have 61423, 8. 23 23 that's when the shoe was made all right let's take a look at the left shoe 
and we have 6 14 23 8 22 23 so these two dates are the same Uh, and if they're different, it doesn't matter. You guys look at your shoes like, oh, both of my shoes are different one. The right one says this date, the left one says that date. It is fine. All right, so let's take a look at this one. Take a look at the fake. We got SZ. SZ for this one, China. So we got 62823, 82123, the infamous SZ factory. And then we have SZ. 6, 28, 23, 8, 21, 23. All right. All right. So now, stuff this in here. Oops, sorry about that, guys. I don't know what I did here. Now I'm going to blacklight these suckers, and then we're going to put this video to a close. See what's going on here. Ah. Too long, 16 minutes in. Ah, sorry, folks. <clears throat> I bet somebody ten dollars, man. I'm gonna get somebody saying, "Man, nobody gonna be looking at these shoes like that." Hey, man, these is just fine. It's like, ah, oh, scared of grip, people. Just scared of grip. Grip is just a video. But the own foot ain't nobody gonna care nothing. All right, retail pair. Retail. That air unit is glowing. It's about all I see. The flight glowing. Air unit. All right. You see here? Outsole. Outsole is uh, just turned infrared on the fakes. Air unit is glowing. Uh, lace tips are glowing. Um, they look green. So you see here, and you got a mark here, and there's nothing on the retail. So that's the retail here. Fake is at the bottom, retail is up top. And it's all important on these black light tests. You can tell that's different material you use. I don't know why that eye is glowing on there. And then the KE in the swoosh is glowing. Isn't that funky? That's weird. So no dash marks or anything like that. All right. So we see the same thing here. And the NI is glowing in the air. And I think this one's fully glowing. So that's weird. Funky. All right. You see something I didn't see? Do not hesitate to put it in the comment section. What's your take on these bad boys? Will you cop on the 17th? Will you pay resale for them? Or will you get one of these? <laughs> it's on you. Buy what you want. Buy what's practical. That's none of my concern of what you like to buy and what you want to wear. It is what it is. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's your boy Jake signing out. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. Peace.